Cadence Cohen is a teacher in Southern Illinois who defied the mandate and now on unpaid leave. She joins us now. What I'm fascinated by is that you're on unpaid leave, but you're also vaccinated. How does that work? About a month ago, they asked for vaccination cards or weekly testing, and I am very against the mandate. So at that point in time, I did not produce a vaccination card. So the district was unaware that I was vaccinated. So that's when they placed me on unpaid leave. All right. So you said it was either vaccination or testing. Did they not want you to be tested? No, I could have opted for the testing option. But you chose not to. I did. I don't believe that it's my boss's business to get into my medical life. Okay. And the testing is also illogical to me, given that vaccinated people can spread COVID. So only testing the unvaccinated. There's 150 people, students that are high school students in and out of my room every day and only requiring the testing of one person that goes in and out of the room didn't make much sense to me. When you think about this vaccination mandate, does it seem to you is about punishment and power or genuine concern and protection for the students? I would like to believe that it's genuine concern for the students and the other faculty at the building, but given the statistics and the lack of logic behind it, I have trouble believing that. So what form of mandate or protection would you be okay with? If they said we're going to test every student and test all the faculty, then you would have been okay with it? I'm not okay with any mandates. I'm okay with laws that go through our legislature, but I'm not okay with one man making any sort of mandate, whether it's a medical mandate or a business mandate. So now that you're on unpaid leave, as I understand it, you uploaded your vaccine card. I did last Friday. And why are you still on unpaid leave? Well, I have to be punished. You have to be punished for not having uploaded your vaccine card? Insubordination, yes. So how long are you going to be punished for? I've been on unpaid leave since the end of September, and I will stay that way until November 17th. And what's been, so what's been happening to all your students who like coming to Mrs. Cohen's class? They've had two different substitute teachers in there that have been doing the best they can, but they are not certified business teachers, so obviously that's a little bit difficult. The head of the business department at the school is a, a wonderful woman, and the workload on her has been doubled since I've been gone. Real, real quick, have you heard from any of your students or their parents? Of course I have. Okay. I get messages and emails daily. We miss you, and when are you coming back? All right. Well, November 17th it is, and uh, admire you for standing on principle, Mrs. Cohen. A great example for your students. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your time. Thank you. It's deer hunting season. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.